The plastic is here because the uh, prevailing surface currents all converge onto the gyre, at the center of the gyre. And so anything that's floating is carried with the surface currents and eventually winds up here. Well, we haven't quantified how much plastic there is in the gyre, uh, but we have done uh, probably 70 toes so far in, in the gyre, and every single one of the manta toes has come up with plastic, uh, so sometimes 40 or 50 uh, pieces of plastic in a 20-minute tow. So there's a significant amount of plastic out here, uh, ranging from small sub-centimeter sized pieces all the way up to the large macro debris. Yeah, there's a lot more plastic out here in the, in the gyre than there is uh, closer to the coast in the California Current. I've been doing uh, research out in the California Current for several years now, and I, I've basically never seen this level of plastic. Scientifically, it's, it's surprising and interesting. I had always heard about the plastic patch, but it's a different thing to see it firsthand. Um, more, moreover, it's, it's the amount of plastic that we're seeing out here multiplied by the area constitutes the gyre is, it means that there's thousands and thousands of tons of plastic, which all came from us. So it kind of makes me uh, think that we really should change the way that we handle our waste. Well, the plastic has different effects on different animal groups. Um, on the larger animals like birds, marine mammals, and sea turtles, um, it obviously has a negative effect. Uh, we find many dead animals with plastic in their, in their, in their gut. Um, it may have an effect on smaller fishes, and that's what uh, some of us will be looking at. And the effect on the lower trophic levels, the uh, zooplankton, is unknown, but uh, perhaps by the end of this cruise we'll have a better idea if there's any effect of plastic on, on the lower trophic levels. As far as the degradation of plastic, there's mostly small pieces uh, that we've been finding, which means that larger pieces are breaking down into smaller pieces. The actual time timeline of degradation is unknown. We don't have a way to age the plastic right now, but hopefully by studying the size structure of the plastic and um, analyzing the types of plastic in the lab that we've collected, we'll have a better idea of the fate of plastic once it gets into the ocean, how long it stays here, and uh, that'll be a topic for future research.